in this class we will try to learn about what is hypoxia and what is oxygen therapy hypoxia is defined as deficiency of oxygen at tissue level tissue suffer from hypoxia when supply of adequate oxygen to them is decreased or when they fail to utilize available oxygen there can be different types of hypoxia hypoxia is classically divided into four categories hypoxic hypoxia anemic hypoxia stagnant hypoxia and histotoxic hypoxia hypoxic hypoxia is when po2 of the arterial blood is reduced the hypoxia is called as hypoxic hypoxia mechanism the hypoxic hypoxia po2 of arterial blood is reduced due to which the delivery of oxygen to the tissue is reduced this occurs either due to decreased oxygen in the inspired air or due to the disease of respiratory apparatus that decrease oxygen supply to the tissue it is seen in the following condition where low po2 in the inspired air for example high altitude or in a closed chambers as uh, one ascends uh, rapidly uh, to 300 feet hypoxia develops due to the decline in alveolar po2 to about 60 mmhg ascent to more than 500 meters produces severe hypoxic symptoms hypoventilation example airway obstruction paralysis of respiratory muscles depression of respiratory centers scoliosis will also lead to hypoventilation in diffusion defects like in pulmonary edema pulmonary fibrosis lung collapse hypoxia occurs ventilation perfusion mismatch perfusion of uh, poorly ventilated alveoli for example large av shunts um, atrial axis lung collapse cyanotic congenital heart disease they will also lead to uh, hypoxic hypoxia the last three mechanisms uh, they are called as respiratory hypoxia anemic hypoxia when uh, po2 of the arterial blood is normal blood hemoglobin uh, to carry oxygen is not adequate in amount so then anemic hypoxia develops the condition that lead to anemic hypoxia are anemia that is reduced oxygen I mean that is reduced uh, hemoglobin concentration in the blood or it can occur in carbon monoxide poisoning or altered hemoglobin for example myth hemoglobin mechanism of anemic hypoxia in anemic hypoxia as po2 of inspired air is normal the diffusion capacity of the lung is normal the po2 of the arterial blood is normal but the oxygen supply to the tissue is reduced as adequate hemoglobin is not available to transport oxygen however in mild to moderate anemia usually oxygen supply to these uh, oxygen supply to the tissue is not severely affected as there is a concomitant increase in 2 3 dpg in the red cells such patients develop uh, severe hypox hypoxia during exercise due to their limited ability to deliver oxygen to the tissue in carbon monoxide poisoning the affinity of carbon monoxide for hemoglobin is about 2 10 times greater than affinity of oxygen carbon monoxide combines with hemoglobin to form carbo monoxy hemoglobin or carboxy hemoglobin cohb in uh, co poisoning the release of co from cohb is very slow due to high affinity of co2 hemoglobin therefore oxygen cannot bind with hemoglobin thus in carbon monoxide poisoning um, though the hemoglobin is hemoglobin content is normal the hemoglobin is not available to deliver the oxygen to the tissue therefore carbon monoxide poisoning is classified as anemic hypoxia moreover hemoglobin dissociation curve uh, for whatever oxy hemoglobin available shifts to left uh, that decreases the release of oxygen from the hemoglobin stagnant hypoxia which is also called as hypoperfusion hypoxia when this occurs when uh, decreased blood flow to the tissues so this is called as uh, stagnant hypoxia this is also called hypoperfusion hypoxia as it uh, causes de- decreased perfusion to the tissues due to the stagnation of the blood flow so this is sometimes also called as ischemic hypoxia the causes of stagnant hypoxia are heart failure shock vascular obstruction okay so that causes specific organ hypoxia 
in stagnant hypoxia oxygen content of the arterial blood is normal hypoxia occurs due to the stagnation of the blood in circulation therefore it is also called as circulatory hypoxia it occurs either due to decreased cardiac output or decreased blood flow secondary to some other causes in chronic or complete stagnant hypoxia local acidosis develops due to accumulation of the lactate that inhibits cellular mechanism metabolism histotoxic hypoxia when tissue cannot utilize oxygen in spite of normal o2 supply the resulting hypoxia is called as histotoxic hypoxia as tissue is unable to utilize oxygen the venous tension of oxygen is high usually hypoxia occurs in tissue poisoning as produced by cyanides or similar poisons the mechanism of hypoxia depends on the cause of hypoxia cyanide poisoning Uh, cyanide inhibits cytochrome oxidase therefore tissue oxidation is paralyzed in diphtheria like in severe diphtheria 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 toxin inhibits the synthesis of one of the cytochromes and therefore prevents oxygen utilization the cyanide poisoning is treated by methylene blue or nitrites they form methemoglobin which in turn reacts with cyanide to form synmethemoglobin which is a non toxic compound hyperbaric oxygen therapy also useful in cyanide poisoning so this is in brief uh, about uh, all the different types of hy- hypoxia hypoxic hypoxia anemic hypoxia stagnant and histotoxic hypoxia in hypoxic hypoxia there is low arterial po2 due to the decrease of oxygen in the environment when oxygen carrying capacity of the blood and rate of the blood flow to the tissue are normal okay some of the causes are reduced atmospheric po2 less pulmonary ventilation and uh, probably defective uh, ventilation perfusion ratio your arterial po2 is reduced arterial content is reduced the arterial saturation uh, oxygen saturation is reduced arterial venous difference is reduced cyanosis is present and it is going to stimulate uh, peripheral chemoreceptor as dissolved oxygen uh, in the plasma decreases in anemic hypoxia amount of hemoglobin is less available to carry oxygen in spite of normal arterial po2 and normal rate of blood flow to the tissues the some of the causes for anemic hypoxia are uh, anemia hemorrhage presence of abnormal hemoglobin like uh, uh, carbamino hemoglobin that is carbon monoxide poisoning or methemoglobin arterial po2 is normal here arterial oxygen content is reduced arterial i mean oxygen saturation is reduced the the arterial venous difference of oxygen is normal cyanosis is absent here and uh, it doesn't stimulate peripheral chemoreceptors because uh, dissolved oxygen in plasma is uh, sufficient to in stagnant hypoxia rate of blood flow uh, to the tissues is reduced so that adequate oxygen is not delivered to them in spite of normal arterial po2 and hemoglobin content so the causes for stagnant hypoxia are circulatory fl- uh, failure obstruction to the flow and heart failure arterial po2 is normal here oxygen content arterial oxygen content is normal Uh, the oxygen saturation of hemoglobin is normal the av difference is more than normal cyanosis can be present uh, peripheral uh, chemoreceptors are stimulated because arterial pco2 increases and po2 decreases in histotoxic hypoxia normal oxygen delivery to the tissues uh, but tissue cannot make use of oxygen supplied uh, to them due to the toxic agents so some of the causes are cyanide poisoning the arterial po2 is normal here the arterial oxygen content is normal the oxygen saturation is normal but the arterial venous difference is less than a normal cyanosis is absent as reduced hemoglobin is produced in small amounts and uh, there will be uh, stimulation of the peripheral chemoreceptors because uh, cyanide decreases oxygen utilization at the tissue level effects of hypoxia hypoxia mainly affects central nervous system especially uh, the higher centers 
the effect of hypoxia depend on the severity duration and the type of hypoxia acute and subacute uh, hypoxia feature of acute hypoxia resemble acute alcoholism impaired judgment and motor incoordination are the major manifestations of acute hypoxia if hypoxia persists for longer period the features are fatigue drowsiness nausea headache hyperventilation and dyspnea apathy inattentiveness delayed reaction time reduced work capacity confusion and disorientation in severe hypoxia hypertension occurs in severe and prolonged hypoxia brain stem is depressed and the death results from the respiratory failure anaerobic glycolysis results in the formation of more lactic acid that leads to metabolic acidosis stimulation of chemoreceptors by hypoxia produces hyperventilation and causes respiratory alkalosis however combined with the metabolic acidosis serum bicarbonate level decreases its effects on the cells the transcription factors known as hypoxia inducible factors hifs are produced by hypoxia hifs have alpha and beta subunits normally in the presence of adequate oxygen in the tissue alpha subunits are readily removed from the cells in hypoxic condition dimerization of alpha and beta units subunits occur in the cells the alpha and beta dimers cause induction of gene that produce erythropoietin and angiogenic factors so this is one of the cause for, of angiogenesis or neovascularization neovascularization in the hypoxic tissues its effect on the brain brain tissue is highly sensitive to hypoxia sudden fall in the inspired po2 to less than 20 mmg causes loss of consciousness about in 15 seconds if if hypoxia continues death can occur within 4 to 5 minutes this can typically occur in sudden drop in cabin pressure in plane flying over 1600 meters however hypoxia of lower intensities cause the symptoms similar to that of acute uh, alcohol intoxication such as disorientation impaired judgment headache drowsiness in chronic hypoxia the polycythemia occurs due to increased erythropoietin production local hypoxic vasodilatation in the tissue increases tissue blood flow coming to oxygen therapy oxygen therapy is indicated in hypoxia it is very useful in acute and severe hypoxia especially when hypoxia is associated with dyspnea methods the oxygen is administered by following methods using oxygen 10 it is very useful in children as they usually do not tolerate mask or cannula it is also useful in administering hyperbaric oxygen using oxygen mask oxygen centers uh, the mask at higher velocity so that uh, the oxygen is drawn through the holes in the mask mechanical ventilator ventilators when the patient is semi conscious or comatose oxygen is administered from mechanical ventilator through an endotracheal or tracheostomy tube though the antinasal uh, tube through the antinasal tube a cannula is inserted into the nostril which is connected to the oxygen cylinder oxygen therapy in different forms of hypoxia in hypoxic hypoxia as hypoxia is due to the decreased po2 of the arterial blood oxygen therapy is very useful in hypoxic hypoxia especially it is very essential for hypoxic uh, hypoxia caused by low po2 in the inspired air hypoventilation and impaired diffusion in the lung in such conditions administration of oxygen increases the pressure gradient between alveoli and the blood that facilitates the oxygen entry into the blood however oxygen th- oxygen therapy is not beneficial in hypoxic hypoxia due to avisions as admis- ad- admixture occurs after oxygenation in the lungs in anemic hypoxia oxygen therapy increases oxygen content of uh, blood by increasing the quantity of dissolved oxygen in the blood thus it helps in providing supply of extra oxygen to the tissues though the quality the quantity of oxygen supplied to the tissue by dissolved form is very small 
yet this improves tis tissue oxygenation to some extent in carbon monoxide poisoning hyperbaric oxygen is useful as it facilitates the dissolution of carbon monoxide from hemoglobin and increases the transport of oxygen in dissolved state in stag stagnant hypoxia oxygen therapy is not much useful as blood flow in the tissue is uh, decreased and uh, uh, in as in stagnant hypoxia in histotoxic hypoxia tissue is unable to utilize oxygen hence the oxygen therapy is not very beneficial however hyperbaric oxygen therapy benefits by displacing the chemical bond to hemoglobin oxygen therapy is harmful in states of depressed respiratory centers the oxygen therapy is beneficial in most of the hypoxic hypoxia it is harmful to the subjects with depressed respiratory centers in such subjects the blood pco2 is high and that depresses the respiratory centers and their breathing is maintained by stimulation due to hypoxia when 100% oxygen is administered to these subjects the stimulatory effect of hypoxia is abolished that results in further rep respiratory depression hyperbaric oxygen therapy the hyperbaric oxygen therapy means administration of 100% of oxygen at increased pressure when hyperbaric oxygen is administered the oxygen transport in the dissolved form in the plasma increases the oxygen solubility in the plasma is 0.03 ml per 100 ml per mm hg therefore to achieve 6 ml per 100 ml dissolved oxygen which is adequate to maintain normal metabolic need of the tissues of the body in resting stage the arterial po2 should be 200 2000 mm hg so this is achieved by administering 100% of oxygen uh, at a pressure of 3 atmosphere hyperbaric oxygen therapy is very useful in carbon monoxide poisoning however 100% oxygen at high pressure facilitates the onset of oxygen toxicity effect of 100% oxygen therapy the effect depends on the duration of the therapy with uh, pure oxygen and the pressure at which oxygen is delivered when given for more than 3 days 100% oxygen produces side effects side effects appear early uh, if pressure at which oxygen is uh, administered is high when administered at 4 atmosphere symptoms develop in half an hour and if administered at 6 uh, atmosphere the features develop just in few minutes the cns effects will be uh, nausea irritability dizziness disorientation muscle twitching and convulsions in severe cases person become comatose uh, hyperbaric therapy decreases the atp and gaba content of brain respiratory system the congestion and irritation of the airway increase the tracheobronchial secretion and decrease surfactant synthesis this also causes pulmonary edema and atelectasis on special senses oxygen therapy it, it, it will lead hyperbaric oxygen therapy lead ringing of the ears tinnitus blurring of the vision loss of equilibrium and retrolental fibroplasia in a new one that results in premature retinopathy visual defects also occur due to the formation of opaque vascular tissue in the eye if given for a longer period 100% oxygen causes bronchopulmonary dysplasia and lungs is especially in the infants treated for respiratory distress syndrome mechanism of toxicity when pure oxygen therapy uh, with the pure oxygen therapy oxidizing free radicals like superoxide anions and hydrogen peroxide accumulate in the body in excess amounts they oxidize the polyunsaturated fatty acids and uh, destroy the cellular enzymes as a result toxic effects of oxygen uh, therapy develop so this is in brief about the different types of hypoxia and uh, oxygen therapy and hyperbaric oxygen therapy thank you